you have a company that makes a bunch of products which you sell to various customers and you have some sort of an ordering system that allows you to take orders from customers for your products and you process the order and based on various factors you provide the customer with some sort of a promise that I'm going to ship the product to you on such and such date. And based on that order, your manufacturing systems pick up that order and go ahead and make that product, if you will. You may depend on multiple suppliers to supply various parts or subsystems. When they arrive, they go through a certain manufacturing process that you have and to come up with the ultimate product. And ultimately, it is your shipping department that is responsible for shipping that order to the customer. The shipping planners then have to consider a lot of different factors to come up with the date when they actually plan to ship that particular product to the customer. Or perhaps you have a completely different business model and you rely on contract manufacturers to actually manufacture that order. Now, the contract manufacturer, again, could have multiple suppliers who actually, in turn, could have other upstream suppliers and perhaps based on some sort of a demand forecast that you provide to the contract manufacturer, the manufacturer actually manufactures those products and stocks those products in different warehouses, perhaps laid out by different geographies or some other way. And depending on the product or the customer, an appropriate warehouse will need to ship that order to the customer. And even though in this business model, the responsibility has shifted to the contract manufacturer, the all important and complex task of coming up with a planned ship date for that product to your customer is of utmost importance. So in summary, the customer placed an order, you promise the customer a date by when you will be able to ship the product. And when you get a better handle on things, you come up with a revised date of when you actually plan to ship the product to the customer. And when the product is ready to ship, you or your contract manufacturer shipping department will actually go ahead and ship the product in some form of transportation, hopefully on or before the planned ship date. But here's the thing, from the customer standpoint, really all they care about is when did you promise me that you will ship and when did you actually ship it or at least plan to ship it. Minimizing the difference between what you promise and when you ship, or at least when you plan to ship, is absolutely key for customer satisfaction. Now, what if you were able to predict just how likely you are to keep that promise? Or better yet, what if you were able to predict the actual promise that you made to the customer when you first took their order? Predicting a shipping date can depend on various factors. For example, what's the demand for the products? Is there any kind of seasonality for the orders that come in? What about the parts inventory for your manufacturing? Or for that matter, what's the labor availability like? You depend on a lot of suppliers for your parts. What are their commitments for delivery of those parts? What about warehouse capacity? Interestingly, sometimes the delays for shipping can be attributed to internal processes. How do you actually take your orders? Is there a delay in entering them into the systems? What about approval cycles, etc.? And then, of course, there can be many other factors such as weather and transportation and so many other things. And if you're using Oracle's industry-leading suite of software to manage your business, then you already have all the data that you need to come up with such a prediction model. Our solution for predicting on-time shipping extracts data from such sources and brings it into a data lake. Using this data, our data scientists have developed a machine learning model that predicts the likelihood of you shipping in order to your customer on time. Your shipping planners and business planners can then actually use these predictions proactively in an intelligent dashboard that is built using Oracle Analytics Cloud. So let's take a look at actually what the dashboard looks like. It is essentially a depiction of all the planned orders in the system and a classification of whether they're predicted to be shipped on time or going to be likely delayed. The first one is as a timeline showing when these planned orders are scheduled to ship. The second is where 
which geography are these orders going to? And third is by organization or essentially which product set is being shipped. The explainability widget in the middle of the screen depicts the top model features that are influencing the predictions shown above. And at the bottom of the screen is a table of the actual planned shipment orders. The prediction timeline widget tells me that most of the orders that have been scheduled will most likely ship on time. However, it also tells me that there's 120 orders in November and some 70 orders in December that are scheduled that are likely going to be delayed. And it looks like for the foreseeable future, the delays are all going to be for stuff that is going to be shipped from North America. So let's drill down a little further and find out more about the predicted delays in North America. And I can click on North America and drill down further to get a better view of what's going on with the uh, predicted delays. And I notice that uh, majority of the predicted delays are for the product or uh, organization code called DSI. And I can click on DSI to drill down even further. In fact, I noticed that when I clicked on DSI, for that product, there is actually some delays also predicted from Mexico, not just North America. So as you can see, I can very easily visually drill down and focus on specific things that are of interest to me. The widgets, by the way, are dynamically connected to each other. So anytime you make any selection on any widget, all the other widgets reflect the changes in context to what you selected. So ultimately, as a business planner or a shipping planner, what is it that I can actually do with these predictions? Two things. Number one, I could focus on the top factors that may be contributing to a delay prediction and do something about it. And number two, I can identify the actual orders that are likely going to be delayed and proactively do something about it. Of course, for your business and your use case, you want a machine learning model that is optimized on your data to give you the best possible predictions for you. We have already built the data pipelines, the machine learning operations, the base model, as well as the OAC dashboard. So when you work with us, delivering your custom solution with an optimized machine learning model for your business is actually pretty straightforward. So reach out to us, please, and we'd love to help you optimize your business using Oracle AI.